I stumbled upon a video today, and before I even played, I paused it. I drink borax every morning. I'm all fired up! Let's go. Some of the things that people do for clout is insane to me. I'm pretty sure y'all could think of some things on the you know on the count of your hands. You know, the number of fingers that you have hands, I'm pretty sure that you could think of at least five things people have done within these past seven years or so that people will do for clout from pranks to stealing stuff to videotaping fights or videotaping uh tragic incidents without helping to almost one of the worst things in my opinion spreading misinformation willingly i don't know if it tickles their fancy every morning when they wake up or when they find some great idea to spread some misinformation do they just rub their hands and you're like hey, hey, hey. Yeah, this is gonna be a banger for the world it's my time to shine mom all those times you told me that i'll be a failure i'm gonna actually become one of the most famous right now due to the misinformation I'm, I'm about to spread if your mom was like that that's probably the reason why that you're spreading mis misinformation because you didn't get any uh, attention from her she didn't give you enough milk from her teeth to feed a healthy growing baby you guys may have known of the tide pod challenge right on tiktok amongst many other challenges that go on tiktok that put many lives in danger because you know some kids that are out there that are trying to do this you know they want to do content creation as their thing i'm not saying it's a bad thing but that there are other things that you could do out there <clears throat> i'm not saying it's a bad thing like i said but chasing clout to become viral is a dangerous dangerous drug <laughs> i almost got caught up into that but on a low scale as you can see i am a victim of reaction videos <gasps> Egad. Yes, reaction videos. That's probably the worst thing I've ever done in my career is reacting to stealing of someone else's content, which is perpetually what I'm doing. I'm taking someone else's video, watching their video and re-uploading it. The only difference is I actually say stuff. I actually laugh to it. I give some great points, probably great feedback to the creator that the creator would actually probably feel a little bit warm and fuzzy inside. He's like, oh, this guy actually likes my stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm glad he enjoyed it. I'm glad he's watching it. I'm pretty sure that's how all the creators feel about when you react to their videos. But that's a different topic for another day. We are talking about something way more serious than this, the spread of misinformation. You may be asking, why am I talking about this? Well, I stumbled upon a video today, a TikTok video while scrolling on TikTok just to look for news and trends i like doing that stuff you know i don't like getting lost in social media because it can be a very big distraction and it could really you know take me away from my work but i saw this and before i even played i paused it i drink borax every morning and for those of you that don't know what borax is borax it's also called sodium borate. According to realsimple.com, borax is a naturally occurring mineral salt, most often mined from Turkey and California. The borax you will find in the cleaning supply aisle at the grocery store is partially dehydrated and looks like a white powder. The most common brand, 20 Mule Team, which is the brand that the person is using in the video today, was named after the process by which the mineral was carted out of California and Nevada desert during the late 1800s. And that's where they got 20 mil teeth. Now that you know that, what borax is, how does it work? Borax is extremely alkaline, meaning it's a pH of around 9.1. It is not acidic, it's the opposite of acidic. Therefore, it creates a basic solution that could help fight acidic stains, such as tomato, coffee, or mustard. You know, those are just a few things listed when dissolved in water and used as a pre-treating solution. When added to a load of laundry, borax can help get white clothes whiter, and when combined with bleach, well, <laughs> it helps boost bleach's cleaning abilities to like 12 million fold. You know when you got white clothes so white and clean right after it got out of the washer and you walk into the sun, it's just so bright, it just reflects all the light? That's how white the shirt can get. It's almost like a flashbang, like when you turn on light mode on, on Discord or Twitter, I mean, X. That's another topic I want to talk about for another time. But borax, ma'am, why? Why would you drink borax every morning? I, I I don't even want to 
think or fathom of a reason why you would do this but i'm gonna hear what you have to say uh let me let me hear you out because i actually didn't watch the video fully i just saw that she drinks borax every morning so i put detergent in my water every single day and let me tell you why okay but don't worry i just put a pinch D just a pinch but it looks like she's adding more if <laughs> just just the just the pinch you know what a pinch of acid would do to to your mouth do you know what a pinch of mercury would do to your human body do you know what a, a pinch of come on give me something guys something that's really deathly and detrimental i know it's not ninja turtles but a pinch of mutagen would definitely mutate her into something that she would not love seeing in the mirror every morning <laughs> Oh my goodness, man! Uh, it's it's crazy that this seems to happen in America. Per, uh, trust me, I'm not I'm not dumb. I would not drink borax. Okay, a pinch. Okay, but why am I drinking it? Let's yeah, get tell to the me important what. stuff. Yeah, please tell me. Do you see that look on her face? She's like, let's get to the important stuff. She's like, yeah, I'm about to blow your mind. Watch what this stuff will do for you. It's 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 life hacks. I got you. It's like she just made a new scientific breakthrough, and she has to tell every scientist in the world, look at this. Just put a pinch of borax in your water every morning. Do a scientific experiment on it. Because I've already done it to myself. I already know what it does. You know, that look of confidence, I, I, I don't think she's wrong. It's great for hormones. Balances testosterone and estrogen. Really? It's a powerhouse anti-inflammatory. Specifically the ones that go after breast cancer, obesity, diabetes, insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. The list goes on. Yeah. Oh, and uh, lung cancer, heart disease, oh, depression, really? and more. Boron is totally essential for your body to absorb magnesium, calcium. Oh, and it prevents vitamin D deficiency. What? Basically, it really? prolongs the amount of time that vitamin D and all your other minerals stay in your body in the actual useful form. Oh. And since it's such an anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. it's amazing for arthritis, osteoporosis, and amazing for teeth and gum health. No way. There's actually a huge study done in 2013 on the teeth and gum health, actually. Did they use borax <laughs> or did you use crest whitening strips to get those white teeth? And did you use glucosamine and fish oil as used for the inflammation of your joints? Are you sure it wasn't those things and it was borax? Is that what you're telling me right now? I got to go to the store, buy me some borax right now. And it has to be the 20 mule brand. Obviously, it's great for your gut health. Your it's obviously great for my gut health. You're absorbing minerals, you're getting electrolytes. We'll go over the salt and the baking soda later. But right really? now, I'm just here for the borax, and I'm gonna just keep drinking my detergent because it was never supposed to be marketed as detergent. I find that quote funny because according to the 20 Mule Team Laundry website, they have clear precautions stating that you should avoid contact with the eyes when using this product, do not take it internally, and be sure to keep it out of reach of children and pets. Going back to do not take internally, they said specifically, do not bathe in, apply to skin, or ingest it. Borax is not intended for use as a personal care product or dietary supplement. Do not use outside the recommended uses as a laundry booster and multi-purpose cleaner. Oh yeah, there's precautions. You know what? <laughs> These, I'm gonna drink it. Because it was never supposed to be marketed as detergent. It did once a certain family with a lot of ties found out it was a little bit too powerful. A lot of ties. <laughs> and then after that, they had to put detergent. After all that, they had to put detergent. Man, oh man. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. It's just crazy though. If you look at the bottom, it says it may be harmful if swallowed. See other cautions on side, whatever that says, because I can't read backwards. I did a pretty good job at first, but it obviously says in the front that it should not be consumed. I don't even know if this is a joke. Is she serious? Is this supposed to be satire? Oh yeah, D drink, uh, drink some borax detergent. Um, even though it does, and I quote, according to realsimple.com, borax is prohibited in food products. Ingesting as little as five grams could cause nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea in large amounts that can send your body into shock or result in kidney failure. Even breathing it in can be harmful to your nose, throat, and lungs. And long-term exposure can result in rashes or damage to male reproductive organs. Needless to say, borax should be kept out of reach of children. Bottom line, put borax away in a safe spot 
like you would any potentially hazardous cleaners in your home, such as bleach. <laughs> Drink bleach every morning <laughs> to be like Wolverine. Like it's your dream, right? You want to be like Batman. You want to be like Superman. Just drink bleach and borax. I, I guarantee you, it'll give you everything that you deserve in life. I don't understand this day and age when it comes to misinformation. I don't know if people are doing it blatantly to where it's like, hey, I'm gonna spread some misinformation because I want to, or they think that it's useful information and they just didn't do enough research. And for some reason, natural selection just did not select them yet. I don't know the reason for it. In my mind, I really wanna think that this is a huge joke and that she's just pulling a, 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 a slick one on all of us on the world and be like, Aha, I, I got you. You believe me about the borax. I actually wasn't serious. It says on the box you're not supposed to swallow it. Then why won't you just start off in the beginning saying it's a joke? Like, for example, I'm not going to create a video with a gun, right? I'm not going to be like, hey, if I pull the trigger with a bullet in it and point it at my head, will I die? <laughs> like, I'm not going to do that and make a video for it and make people play Russian roulette with with the with their daddy's revolver that they found in the in, in the dresser drawer in their armoire I, I am not gonna force kids or just give the idea to other people to even try it out you, you know what i'm saying like, i feel like you should put yeah this is a joke this is for satire you shouldn't be doing this and then go proceed with it because i don't know i just <laughs> a lot of humans are stupid and trust me i got caught in, in in some stupid phases i i am not one to boast of my smart antics but i am very full of common sense and that is something that i'm proud to say that i have that i see not too many people commonly have this sense <laughs> all in all i really hope that this was a joke and it was satire and that i am wrongfully accusing this misinformation i didn't see anywhere in the video where she says it was misinformation not even in the comments under description so i'm under the uh, under the assumption that she's spreading some type of scientific discovery and if i didn't know no better and i was someone that just doesn't do research <laughs> and gets all my verified scientific information from tiktok instagram and facebook then uh i think natural selection will select me too <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to share that little bit of commentary because uh some of y'all have been asking me to do some some more commentary so here it is and this topic actually was really really interesting to me and the spreading of misinformation for clout is definitely a no-go but reacting to videos such as skibbity toilet for the sake of your channel to grow and frolic in the flowers with other great creators out there and for others other entertainer enjoyers to find you to be entertained then that's great but the spreading of misinformation that's just uncalled for but yeah you guys have a good day what do you guys think about drinking borax will you do it did you see this trend were you part of the tide pod trend did you try the tide pod trend did you try to jump into ongoing traffic like you're playing frogger for some viral tiktok video that probably only go viral once is that what you're doing or are you just living life day by day if you live in life day by day while planning as well and not doing too much crazy stuff for clout good on you but for me i think it's time for me to tone down on the reaction videos <laughs> don't drink borax hey yo man's too lit what's up like that flame boy yeah hey yo man's too lit i was too lit so i gotta spread this love boy yeah I gotta spread this love, boy.